Do you think that the U.S. should approve the Keystone Pipeline? I have just been reading a National Geographic article on tar sands. And everything that I saw from that article is bad. Now, tar sands, <laughs> this tar sand project is up in Alberta. I'm told that the area is bigger than the state of Florida. I'm told that there, it's a forested air, area, which they mow down and then began to dig these huge, giant lakes that they pour chemicals in to produce this form of tar sands oil. The earth is defaced forever. Now we have to make up our mind, do we want to deface large portions of our earth forever? I don't think so, because we're making progress on clean energy. And that ought to be where we go. Um, as some people say, well, you know, if the pipeline isn't built north to south uh, through the center of our country, they're only going to do it east to west and send it to China. I think that is really not a very good argument because I think we really have to look at tar sands. And I'd be happy to make that National Geographic article available. Um, I have it at home, and I can give it to my staff. And if anyone would like to call uh, Sean Ellsburn at our San Francisco office, he'll make the article available to you. Surely right, some, Sean? <laughs> surely some very vivid photos. Another uh, area of potential large oil development is here in California. The Monterey Shale uh, new fracking technologies making accessible uh, about 15 billion barrels of oil, which is equal to half the amount originally in the North Slope of Alaska. Should that be developed, and should California tax that? California is the only state that doesn't tax uh, oil extraction. Well, I sure think we ought to tax it, because I don't think, candidly, that it's all that necessary. There will be no oil drilling off the coast of California if Senator Boxer and I prevail, and we have so far. <laughs> and the House delegation as well. The people of our state voted, and we voted against offshore oil drilling, and I believe we ought to keep that vote. Um, but my emphasis would be on clean energy. I would, you know, the wind farms, the solar facilities, um, and, and there's so much research going on, on different forms of fuel. I mean, I'm amazed at what they think they can make fuel out of these days. So, you know, I say, that's just great. Let's do it. And leave these fossil fuels alone because they pollute the atmosphere. <laughs>